Hello students how are you I hope all of you are fit and fine Today we are going to discuss question and answers MCQs from the chapter rocks and minerals So let us start to begin with first question The base of plains mountains and ocean beds is the options are metamorphic rocks sedimentary rocks igneous rocks none of this so what should be the correct option in this right the correct option is igneous rocks let us see next question question 2 this is not a main mineral of granite the options are quartz calcite mica feldspar so what is the correct option in this which is not a main mineral of granite the answer is calcite calcite is not the main mineral of granite however quartz mica feldspar these are the these are the main minerals of granite okay let us move on to the next question the third question is the traces of ancient plants and animals found in rocks are called the options are vessels fossils tonsils none of this so what is the correct option what do we call the traces of ancient plants and animals found in rocks we call them as fossils so the correct answer is b fossils okay so these are the ancient uh, these are the traces of ancient plants and animals which are found in rocks okay fourth question this is found from trees and other plants which died million of years ago the uh, options are sandstone coal granite slate what is the correct option in this the correct option is coal okay so coal is formed from the trees and other plants okay which have died million of years ago let us move on to the next question which of the following is obtained from petroleum and is used for making candles and waterproof cartons the options are coal pumice marble paraffin wax okay which of this is used for making candle the obvious answer is paraffin wax okay this is the correct answer okay because paraffin wax is used to make candles and waterproof cartons let us move on to the next question this is true or false precious metals like gold and silver are used for making utensils is it true it is false okay precious metal like gold and silver are not used for making utensils okay asia has more than one third of the world's coal is it true or is it false well it is true yes asia has more than one third of the world's coal let us see next question third fossil fuel and black gold are some other names of coal is it true no it is false okay fossil fuel black gold is not uh these are not names of the coal okay in fact is these are the names of petroleum products okay petroleum basically dentist use powdered pumice for polishing our teeth is it true yes it is true dentist use powdered pumice for polishing our teeth then shell is used as an ornamental rock is it true or is it false well it is false it is not used for ornamental rock definitely shell is not used for ornamental rock okay let us move on to the next question right short answers what are rocks made up of well you can say rocks are made up of minerals and what are minerals minerals are natural non living substances okay minerals are the building blocks of rocks this is what you can answer for this question so what are minerals minerals are natural non living substances and minerals are the building blocks of rocks so these two statements you can mention as a answer for what are minerals let us see next question 
what is slate commonly used for what is slate commonly used for you will mention slate is commonly used for making writing slates blackboards and roof tiles of buildings name two valuable underground resources you will write coal and petroleum are two valuable underground resources i will repeat for the question name two valuable underground resources you will write coal and petroleum are two valuable underground resources the next question is name any two places in india where coal mines are situated here you will mention suhagpur madhya pradesh dhanbad jharkhand are some of the places where coal mines are situated suhagpur which is in madhya pradesh and dhanbad which is in jharkhand are some of the places where coal mines are situated okay so this is how you can mention answer for the question 5 okay let us see long answers now how are igneous rock forms okay how are igneous rocks formed here you will mention these are the solid rocks formed when the magma cools after being pushed upward towards the surface of the earth they are formed due to cooling solidification and crystallization of magma either on the surface or in the interior of the earth okay what you will mention these are the solid rocks formed when the magma cools after being pushed upward towards the surface of the earth okay so when the magma which is in the liquid form which is very hot when it is pushed upwards okay gradually it is solidified and it gets converted to solid rocks they are formed due to cooling solidification and crystallization of magma either on the surface or in the interior of the earth so solidification can happen at the surface also and in the interior of the earth also whenever it happens in the interior of the earth it happens under a good amount of pressure so it can lead to crystallization also let us move on to the next question what are ores name any four common ores here you will mention rock containing metals that can be extracted profitably are called ores example hematite is an ore of iron other examples are bauxite which is an ore of aluminium pyrite is an ore of copper calamine are is an ore of zinc okay so these are the various ores of of this particular metals okay so what are ores ores are basically minerals only these are the uh, what you can say the rocks which contain the metals but we can call them as ores only if that metal can be extracted profitably from the rocks okay from the rocks if you can extract profitably from the rocks okay see otherwise if you have to invest too much of money into it but you are going to get very little from it okay and you are not in profit in that case you can call it as ore it is simply a rock understood let us move on to the next question let us see third question why are coal and petroleum important to man the question is why are coal and petroleum important to man here you will write coal and petroleum are important to man because coal is used to cook food and heat houses coal is also used to power houses to generate electricity and to run machines in factories then petrol and diesel obtained from petroleum are used to run machines and vehicles then plastic paints fertilizer cosmetics are also obtained from petroleum so these are the various uses and applications of coal and petroleum and this you have to mention under question 3 the next question is why is petroleum called a fossil fuel here you will write petroleum is called as a fossil fuel because it is found from the remains of the plants and animals in the sea over million of years the dead remains of these plants and animals got buried in layers for million of years and gradually changed into oil and gas okay so this is why petroleum 
is called as a fossil fuel because they have been formed over million of years out of the buried remains of plants and animals then write two uses of limestone okay this is our last question for the day here we will mention it is used to make bricks and glass then it is used for separating metals from their ores it is also used by scientists to study ancient life on earth so these are the few uses of limestone okay i will repeat it is used to make bricks and glass it is used for preparing metals to separate metals from their ores and it is also used by scientists to study ancient life on earth well students that was all from my side i hope you have understood the information shared in this video we have discussed mcqs true or false short answers and long answers from the lesson rocks and minerals so next time we will be discussing new chapter so until then take care bye bye